Hello, I'm Rebecca Flaherty and today I'm going to show you how to resize a tile for Spoonflower in Photoshop so that you don't get any of those annoying gaps that can appear around the edge sometimes when you resize a tile. I'm just going to start by unlocking the background layer on this tile so we can work on it and I'm going to zoom in on this top left corner up here and first of all I'm going to apply a filter so I'm going to go up to filter, other and offset and I'm going to offset the pixels which means I'm going to bring all the pixels across and down by 100. And what that's going to do is going to bring what were the edges of our tile just inside so that we can see them. So now you can see that there is no gap on those edges at the moment. I'll just undo it. You can see we've moved what was here down to just there. And you can see there's none of those white gaps on the edges before we start. So what I want to do is resize my image. I'm going to press Command Shift I. And at the moment I've got this pattern tile here, which is roughly 27 inches by 27 inches at 300 pixels per inch. But I want to upload this to Spoonflower and I want to size it correctly so it fits their wallpaper at 24 inches wide at 150 dpi. So what I'm going to do first is constrain my ratio and then I'm going to change the width to 24 inches wide and then I'm going to set the resolution to 150. And then for the resample method choose bicubic sharper reduction as I find this one does the least amount of damage to the edge pixels when you resize. When you make an image smaller you're making it remaking that image with a smaller number of pixels and so Photoshop is doing all its filtering and processing and resampling it to remake the image with a smaller number of pixels. As well as analysing each pixel, it will also analyse each pixel around it to decide how to remake them. So these ones here on the edge, they don't have any pixels off to the side. Off to the side there's nothing or transparency and it takes that into account when it remakes them annoyingly. So you end up with, if I just go ahead, I'm going to click on OK to that. I'm just going to do the offset again and then I can show you what I was about to say. I'm going to bring these edges in to pull them down, everything across and down by 100. And if you look over here, I don't know if you can see that, so I'll put a darker colour fill layer behind it. Let's just make this black. And there you go. You can see where we have this layer of black underneath there. You can see what was the edge of our pattern tile up there. We've brought it down and there's now a semi-transparent line there. It's used the information for the pixels around it and where there was nothing there, it's kind of used that information to remake the edge pixels. So that's what happens when you resize things. And if we hadn't done the offset to check that and you'd uploaded it, you may notice those lines as marks on your designs. So what is the correct way to resize your tiles? How can you do it without getting these lines on the edge? Some of these methods will give a better result and do less damage than others, but I found there's none of these settings that don't make this happen to some extent on the edge. So how do we correctly resize for Spoonflower? Well, I still resize mine this way, but as we talked about, this is semi-transparent. And if I zoom in on this area here, and then I duplicate this layer, keep an eye on those semi-transparent lines, as I press duplicate, the semi-transparent parts stack up and eventually become opaque. Sometimes, as with this design, you might need to just do it once, and for some other designs you might need to do it three or four times. But once you've knocked out that transparency, you can grab all of your duplicated layers and then you can merge them down into one. You can then delete this colour fill layer underneath. And if you want to put the tile and shift it back into its original position, remember we shifted everything down and across, you would go back up to filter offset and do the opposite of what you did. So you'd make it minus 100 in each direction and that's going to put everything back where it was before we messed with it. And so now our tile is exactly as I want it to be. It's 24 inches wide at 150 pixels per inch tested for those white gaps and we know there's none there. We fixed the ones that did appear and now this is ready to resave. 
I'd recommend keeping your larger file and not overwriting this one. So you can go to Command Option S to save a copy. Save it as a JPEG and you can put in 150 pixels per inch in the name there. And that is now optimized for uploading to Spoonflower at the correct resolution and it will perfectly fit their wallpaper. Let's have a look at one I've uploaded now. So as you can see, this is uploaded perfectly sized for one whole width of wallpaper. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, then please consider subscribing. And if you want to learn more hacks and tips just like this, then join me over on Skillshare where I'm a top teacher and I have lots of classes packed with helpful content just like this. If you're new to Skillshare, you can get one month for free when you use the link in the description. Have fun, stay creative, and I will see you next time.